Hello everybody, you're back with me, Reaper X1, once again, playing some more Terra Tech. This time I decided to start in the R&D, and I got to just trying to play around and see what's changed, and I ended up building this little guy, just on a whim, and I kind of surprised by it. It's not much more than a few blocks, random skeleton kind of stuff, and four missile pods. So, it's... Very minimal, <laughs> to say the least. But it travels around fairly good. About 130. Oh, I dropped a bit. I had some more steering thrusters. So 122. So that's not too shabby. It's fairly easy to control. You just got to nose up every once in a while. And it'll do some pretty neat acrobatics, actually. It doesn't do barrel rolls or, or spins or twists or nothing. But it'll actually do backflips. Flies more like a drone, I guess, kind of idea. It turns fairly good. Not quite on a dime or nothing, but hey, it works. Well, I guess there's a live stream going right now. <laughs> Don't watch it, watch this. <laughs> so yeah, I just, while we're putting around here, I'd like to say thanks for joining me. Oh, just nicked it. Hopefully we can have some fun here and figure some stuff out. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be building, but I just want to do a bit of flying around. Jeez, I got way away from where I started at. I didn't think I went that... Uh oh. Oh, barely made it. I didn't think I went that far. I'm like 5,000 out there. Jesus! I wonder it's not lagging. <laughs> Yeah, all the stuff that they got around the starting point now, it seems to cause me a lot of lag. We'll see what happens as I fly into it. Shouldn't take too long. I'll just keep gabbing away and gabbing away and gabbing away. And while I'm gabbing away, you know, don't forget about that like button. Subscribe button is pretty damn cool too. You know, you get more of the interesting stuff that I seem to have once in a while. And as for Buddy there saying all my startup speeches are the same, <laughs> changed it. But no, thanks for the feedback, dude. It's always cool. I won't say no names, I'm, not, I'm just giving you a hard time a bit. But yeah, I really do appreciate the feedback and the support. Here's where it gets all the same again. No! No, I'll stop. You guys, I think you all know all of my subscribers, I hope. See, I always just say it over and over and over again for all, anybody who's new. And I hope all the older subscribers do remember. That's why I said it. I only say the stuff I mean. Okay, I should be getting into the good stuff here in about another 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, I see something. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, see, yeah, if I get my camera just right in this way, I'll keep it here the whole time. Boom! Oh, I missed. Okay, I gotta get my bearings on this. I'm flashing right on. Oh, too low. That doesn't help. Uh oh, wow, big lag. See, when you're low, you gotta line up a little different. Yep. So it's not the easiest thing in the world. I wish I could turn my camera more. It's weird how it does that. Oh, did I almost get a hit? I was working on it. <laughs> Do some crazy turn. Try this maneuver. Oh, I'm gonna crash. I knew it. Oh, I thought I was just gonna take the ground again, but no. So lucky. Oh, wrong way. Whoa, got that all weird. Yeah, you get this thing kind of weird and kind of hard to get back a little bit. Oh, there it is. Okay. See if I get something lined up. Where the heck did I end up? See, I was flying over pretty good there earlier. Oh, what? I'm only at 250 feet. Like, come on, let me shed him. There, gotcha. Now 170. Come on, what you got? Oh, I missed him huge. 
See, it's all in how you turn, though. Like, if you turn too much, too many different angles at the same time, it screws right up on you. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of come and show you the little guy here. It's a pretty easy one to build. I usually build something like this just to fly away from the starting point to clear up the lag, get uh, some good building for when, especially when I'm building bigger stuff. Because so I got a big sucker I've been doing that a lot with. I got a few of them actually. <laughs> Just can't seem to get them finished though. But anyway, I figured that was a neat little way to start her up. I was hoping to blow some stuff up. Doesn't really seem to want to let me do. Oh. But anyway, a couple other ideas that I want to try out in this one. I do want to blow something up though. Oh, that was horrible. Uh-uh, not good at all. Dirt take. Now I got no steering. Can't hit them. Okay, here's the weirdness. Look at that, they're tracking it. Boom. So why can I track an enemy in bef like from a farther distance than I can aim? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's too short. Do not like it. So yeah, I'll be back in a little bit with a brand new idea of something few other things of testing that I, I'd like to maybe see if I can work out in hopes to prove why these missiles need a longer range. Just for the sake of the bigger build. You know, if you know what I'm saying. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to see if I can get something set up. Alright, seeing as I, I may only get one shot at this, I figure I'll do it this way. So first off, I tried this. See, fire... And now look how close to the edge of that. Now this is max, or pretty much the maximum build limit that way, and up. Maybe not width. I think I could go a few more blocks in width, but that doesn't mean nothing for this. But see, look, there's my maximum range for both weapons. So you get maybe 74 blocks in range, kind of thing. Why isn't that one firing? Huh, that's weird. But anyway, now let's see if we get any better as we get into a target here. This is where, why I'm only going to get one shot probably. This thing's going to lock on to me. Oh, it's, it's not smart enough to hit me. Okay, right on. So here, I'm going to put it... Let's give it this. Now you'd think if I had a monster attack where that's the front and it's built up, because it's probably going to be built up at least five blocks high three at least, four maybe for the wheels alone, let alone who knows what else, but here watch this, it hits, so that's not too bad there, that's three of these, okay, well let's try, no I guess I can do, oh Bessie, relax, don't get your tetris in a tussle, over, 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 okay this might take a second, Bear with me. We're working on it, though. Okay, now let's see what we can do with this one. So I would like... Whoa. Jeez, he might get lucky and just smoke me with that thing. Looks like he's aiming at it. Oh, he got my wheel. Okay, what about here? Can we still hit him? No. So close. Well, the reason I make a point about this is because I got a big dang tech I've been working on and before they lowered the missiles is when I started <laughs> see not even from there so we'll go up a little bit oh we got some love there so we get what's that work out to be one two three and a bit of these gray boxes Make sure it's repeatable. Yep. That's with the cruise missiles. So that's, you know, give or take. I don't know. That's nowhere near as good as they used to be. Now the thing I would rather see is have the the missiles back to the way they were, honestly. Because one thing I found out is if you're moving and you can, it is possible to dodge them. And the re only reason they're so overpowered is because we don't have no defenses against them. 
and when it comes to enemies they won't fire them if they can't see us with their normal gun range so they're not even going to use them at long long distances against us so I don't know why everyone's weird or like worried about it and as far as it being overpowered and everyone complaining it's too easy well that's maybe a good uh, motivation for the developers to get them blocks made and put in you know <coughs> We take the easy way out and get short ranges and junk like that and long reload times and crazy crap. What good's that? That takes fun right out of this thing. Like, look, I don't even know if I'm hitting it now. Let's move up a couple touches. There, now I'm tagging. I think it's just got really good. Oh, there it goes. Took the shields out. So, yeah, that's about our max range now. And meanwhile, it used to be pretty much way out there, into the fog. I, th I think I got the full draw distance on. So it went from, let's say, this one at the nearest. I know it'd go to there, probably most likely farther. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 grave blocks in range, down to 3 and some change. Damn, that's a drop. I could see here. And even that kind of sucks. Ideally, I'd like to be able to hit this guy. If they don't want it going out of the range, which is understandable. I do like the edge. Way out here, I think it'd be a really good way to set the missiles. Because honestly, look how far they fall before they even start going anywhere now that's without a target okay but let's check check this out sorry if I'm just kind of going on and on and on about this but this is what's been bothering me but see here he can hit me there but that's it and that's just because my wheels got into his normal gun range so if I backed up and I had longer range missiles, I'd be able to take him out. If he had a human behind him, he'd be able to take me out. But he doesn't. It's AI. So, yeah. Suck it, buddy. Let's see. Like, look how far they even... That's with a target. They just didn't make it in time. Well, like, that's quite the fall. Let's we'll say it falls to about here. And then, well, about to here. So that's like a gray block in itself, it falls down. It's a lot of distance just to be getting started, and then it has to aim and everything over two of these. It seems too fast, not enough. But anyway, that's my little spiel about the missile crisis in the R&D. As far as the other missiles, I'm pretty sure they're the same. But what we can do real quick here is we will knock these off I hope it's quick I'm not as fast sometimes as others and I don't want to pull that black thing right off because well sometimes that can suck and the hard part being a mile away Looks like it went on, right? Come on, hurry up. I don't know why it keeps jumping me up like that. It's taking a while, too. Come on, a little more. Well, these aren't going to be as powerful anyway, but... See, they don't even have the range of those ones. Jesus, I tell ya. He's a sad state of affairs. There, I'm back in his range and I still can't hit him with him. So, I don't know, Megatons are now, or once again, the best weapon. Oh, got both my legs. My legs! Oh, I can still drive? I'm moving right in here. Oh, he got me. Got me. Took you long enough, you silly. Mm. But anyway, that's my beef with the missiles. 
So I think next is my beef with that sign. So I'm not sure, but for some reason, I have this odd idea. That sign causes me lag and audio issues. So I check it. Lag, 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 lag. Back to nice. Oh, I hit the edge. Nice, 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 nice. Wow, it's not bad, you know. I do have an old ass computer. Nice, 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 nice. I look up at it. Lag. Nicer. So yeah. So I'm gonna come in and try and break that sign. So back in a minute. One of the other problems that I kind of have, I believe, is this sign causing lag in the R&D for me. It screws with my audio, I get static and junk. I'm pretty sure it's this because it happens when I look at this. So what I figure I'd do, i get rid of it. Turns out it's a little harder to do than I had hoped. And missing shots really sucks. But you know, that longer range would have helped for this. It would have. Really big. But anyway, I kind of made my way through it a little bit here with my... Not really sure what I was going to call it, never really thought of it. Tried to keep it low so the blocks wouldn't get under me, but as you can see, that's easier said than done. Just bouncing. So I just dropped that sucker apart. Only got this little bit left. That idea failed. I've tried a few different versions of text it or maybe take these down, but that big one I was hoping would be my best one yet. It did the best so far. But this one, it was a quick, easy one. The only thing is, is that's it. Blows itself up pretty easy. I think it's just from having the blocks at the side. So close. But, I want to get rid of that. Just to see if it is that. So I want every trace of it gone. So we'll blow that up like that. Let's see. Seems like it's getting better already. This is one of the attempts that I was just surprised by. <laughs> a little boost and it drove right over all them blocks. Barely even stopped. Here's another little problem I got. This bubble bounce with the shields. I'm not liking this. This is why. Now I was taking advantage of it in the campaign, but I didn't even like it then. I'm pushing everybody away from my drills. Now this little guy with a little bubble and barely any power... He's keeping this big guy away. Yeah, we'll even throw some boost at him. There, that gets through him. Now watch this guy. He'll go down like nothing if I can get at him. I'm pretty hurting right now. Yeah, look at that. Just chewed him right down. No bouncing back. Like, honestly, the shield thing, I think that's too much for one shield. I ain't too fond of that one. Since I got all blowed up though, only one side of my truck works and it won't blow up the rest of the way. So I can sit here and do circles or... Who knows. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go fart around and see what I come up with. The sign was bigger pain in the arse than I thought. I might give it another try though, I got a new idea. So we'll see what happens. So just to prove my point there about the legginess and, and the belief of... Uh, it being caused by too much mostly the sign back there well the signs all gone now even though it didn't work the way I was hoping for but look at that no lag I can even go faster look faster Woohoo! that's a lot nicer we need an option to have that out like turn off all the extras half the time I just come in here to build if I want to blow stuff up I'll take it into my creative save now I know not everyone has one but you could Gotta go and get her. So I think this is about a good time to end her. There's not much more to show in here. I just wanted to kind of deal with that. A little... Kind of my beefs. With what's going on recently. The sign's been bugging me. The lag in here has been driving me... Well, the audio screw-ups has been driving me out of here from building. I don't like that. This is, was my favorite place to play. And the missile thing, I thought this was a good place to demonstrate it, and yeah, we need more range, guys. I know you guys are trying to balance it, but really, that's not the way to do it in my opinion. Hopefully there's more of the degree, but this is the time to call her the end. So before I go, just remember that if you got a cool original tech, 
Follow that showcase auditions link down in the description. Post your snap in-game snapshots of your tech and or your save file. And I'll do my damnedest to make you an awesome video and show off your tech to the best of its ability. If there's any complicated instructions, stuff like that, throw them in there too. If you don't want your name in the video, tell me not to, or I'll just assume you don't care. And uh, one other thing I did notice today that the old uh, techs there, they've been getting some pretty good views, a lot of the newer videos, and some of you guys have been really paying attention to a couple of my bigger builds. So I just kind of wonder, if you guys are interested in bigger builds, I have another playlist besides this one. I have three or four, I have multiple TerraTech playlists. But the one I suggest and recommend is Monsters of TerraTech. A lot of those suckers reach build limits, and they are not just an average truck to run around. They, they have some aesthetic qualities, we will say. Also... Shit, there was something else I was going to say. Don't! Anyway, it'll come back to me at the worst possible frickin' time, I bet. I guarantee it. But anyway... <laughs> You know where that like button is. If you did, hit her. Also, comments, guys. Come on. And gals. I know there's a bit of both out there that have been watching. I do appreciate it. The support has been awesome. But, you know, feedback down in the comments is the best tool I've come across to learning how to do this better. You guys might know more than I do. You probably do about this stuff. I'm still pretty new, so feedback aplenty, guys. I'd love to learn stuff, and I can only do so much. <coughs> I need to know where I'm screwing up. <laughs> and also, that subscription thing. That'd be a good idea if you like my videos so far. I can only see them getting better. Some of the older ones may be rough, but they got some good builds in them, too. I always try to build something new, each one. But anyway, that's enough of the just gabbing. So until next time, everybody, keep being awesome, keep having a good one. Bye.